all right what's up so i've got a couple of stories for all of you guys and this first one is about hunter labrada hunter labrada recently showed up in mexico and you guys can see how impressive he looks here hunter labrada has made some huge improvements this year and overall his physique has seen major gains and especially his conditioning is also uh, better than last year and he has posted a couple of uh, comparison pictures on his uh, social media which clearly uh, shows how he has made improvements especially in his quads that are much round now and uh, more massive and his deltoids have seen more massiveness this year and roundness and overall the thing that really is in impressive about his physique is that he has a wide collarbone and overall his shoulder width is quite wide that gives him quite a massive look at this weight and this size so definitely this is going to be one hell of a battle this year and he placed fourth last year and compared to that he is much better now uh, realizing all the competition on stage he is definitely going to be uh, in the best of his shape this year and he wasn't even that good 13 days out at Mr. Olympia 2021 and now at eight weeks out he is tanned and looking much better compared to last year Moreover, I have an update from Samson Dowda. You guys can see that Samson Dowda is a guy with aesthetics and massiveness. And overall, his proportions are so impressive that his calves do not look small compared to his overall thigh size. And his shoulder width is quite impressive. His muscle bellies are quite impressive, giving him a fuller look. And he may not be that shredded compared to Big Ramy or any other athlete, but definitely his muscle separation is very impressive. And you guys can see that uh, overall his muscularity is quite uh, complete and balanced that uh, you don't get to see any part lagging and that is I believe uh, a great sign of uh, his uh, successful future ahead and I believe if he does not mess it up at any point and gets the best of his coaching and best uh, maintains the best conditioning package then definitely he is going to do wonders and uh, there is a great possibility that he might also become Mr. Olympia at some point in future. I have also an update from uh, Derek Lesford and I couldn't stop myself from uh, commenting on his physique and he is also looking very impressive. His uh, quads and overall thighs are looking very impressive and he has definitely gained a lot of muscle mass in just one year compared to 2012-2021 championship he is way better and now he is keeping an eye on the prize and I believe he has the mindset of a champion. So he's definitely going to be one hell of a uh, bodybuilder on stage. And lastly, an update about Michael Crizzo who is a few days out of Prague Pro now. And in order to qualify for Mr. Olympia now, he has to win this pro show. And I believe uh, he has definitely improved a lot uh, compared to amateur Olympia Italy's conditioning. Uh, a lot of people uh, kind of criticized his conditioning and uh, were saying that he was not at his 100%. So I believe he has definitely changed his mindset now and he is uh, working hard to bring the best of the best conditioning to this pro stage and I wish him good luck for his uh, future competitions and uh, wish to see him on Mr. Olympia stage so we could see how impressive he is compared to all the pro level bodybuilders. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Peace out.